What is good guys? Sorry the sun's really bright, but we are starting off today checking the Civic. Because a whole bunch of you were telling me that there is a cup holder in my car, but I swear there isn't. So let's investigate. Everyone said that it's between the cigarette lighter and in front of the gear shifter, but that's just an ashtray. Is there something I'm missing? Like, yeah, no, no, there's, there's, there's nothing there guys. There's definitely no cup holder in this Civic. I think there was a particular model that only had it. So no cup holder, just freaking ashtray. Okay, so that solves that mystery. Definitely no cup holder. Now, there is supposed to be a very big and special package arriving today for the Civic. Um, I'm sure some of you can guess it. It rhymes with nitrous. Um, <laughs> but seriously, nitrous is coming today. Way too excited. It better get here. It better get here because I want to start pulling the kit apart, understanding how to install it. And uh, it'd be funny as if we could get nitrous on it today. But I need to, I need to not put nitrous on it until we fix control arms and things like that in there because they're really clapped out. And I need some proper steering in that if I'm making it faster. Then we've got to tee up and work out when we're going for the test and tune drag days. We're going to take this to the drag strip. It's going to be a bunch of fun. Anyways, enough chit chat, let's get into the video. The first delivery of today was some new LED light bulbs and things that I'm gonna throw in the Civic. This is gonna replace interior lights and everything on the cluster because it's got these really gay, like dark blue purple things in there right now. So getting that replaced and I wanted to try out a cheap set of these LED H4 headlights. I think they're kind of cool. So, I mean, it was 20 bucks. Figured we'd give it a shot, see what they're like because the lights in there are super dull compared to what I'm used to driving in my 34 and 33.4 in Japan with HIDs. Okay, so the day is over and it is time to get the Civic inside so we can change all these LEDs and lights and stuff in here. So this is what I was talking about, right? When I said that um, the previous person put like all these blue things in there, I don't know if you can see that. Look at that grossness. It's rank, right? Like, I definitely, don't want weird blue LEDs in here because and half of them don't work either you can barely see the speed when you're driving so we're gonna change all of that we're gonna put a new interior light in we're also gonna change the headlights it's gonna be great unfortunately I do have a bit of bad news the box for the nitrous kit it never arrived today so I checked the tracking it looks like uh, it's gonna arrive tomorrow super bummed though because it was like overnight express shipped and it was shipped like thursday afternoon so it should have been here by now it really should have been here friday afternoon so i'm not sure what's going on i'm a bit nervous so i'm probably going to call up the career company tomorrow and just make sure they haven't lost it or anything because that would mega suck all right lads we got a working interior light now hang on which way does that go this way this way there we go sweet wait is that even there we go got a working interior light now which is dope that's one thing that we needed to do now, I think what I want to do is pull out the cluster. So we'll do that next. Should be relatively easy. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I'm just looking for screws, uh, two screws here. So pretty standard, undo those, and then we should be able to get to it, pull it out and change it all for all of these lovely LED ones. Okay, so I took the dash out, which by the way, was only held in with one screw instead of like the six that it's meant to have. Super sketchy. And you can see that it's already missing bulbs here everywhere. Uh, another one over there missing um, and all the main light up ones are these weird old LED ones that don't work anymore So we're gonna definitely rip these out and replace them with the new ones here with the cron LEDs on there That one's a bit wonky. Hey, look at that. That's not meant to be like that I don't think did I bend that by accident. I don't know Well, here's a straight one here that I picked up. They were like five bucks or something on eBay for the full kit So it's really handy um, and it's just white. I just want normal white so I can actually see what's going on I don't want none of this blue weird stuff so yeah, we're gonna replace all of those um, and then just, yeah, like even little ones like this will get swapped out because that's some weird blue LED that looks like it's melted in there too. Yuck. Far out. All right, we're gonna replace all these bulbs. I'll pick up the camera once I've done that and show you the difference. All right, so I got the new LEDs installed and look at that. The white LEDs light up the dash and make it all orange, which is kind of cool. I guess it's how it's meant to be, as you can see here. These ones will be uh, white LEDs or white lights behind there, the factory ones. So we got... I can actually see the cluster now. I can actually see what's going on. These never even lit up before, so that's great. Really happy about that. Just all these little simple things that you can do to your car to make yourself feel great. And like, I can actually see. I know she's done a lot of mileage, guys, a lot of kilometers, but it's okay. She'll she'll treat us well with nitrous. Sweet. So gonna put it all back together, try and find some more screws to put in there, and then we'll get on to these guys. Cause I'm really curious if these are actually really decent. Cause like, look at my headlights right now. Like, that's it. They're pretty, they're pretty put pitiful, so it'll be interesting to see how much of a change they are. All right, let's pull the key out, 
put this thing back together. All right, so I just removed the old H4 bulb and I'm just looking at these new ones and they look so good. The LED kind of H4 sit in, it's got the heat sink and everything on there to keep it cool. But I, I love the fact that the plug itself is actually like a little extension bit that kind of comes off it. So then you've got a lot more room in there and it's a lot easier to pull the bulb off the actual facing. Like it's such a bitch to get in here sometimes. So I'm gonna put this and install this. I've also put the LED little tail light in there as well. Gonna install it and then we're gonna have a comparison, the LED on this side and the normal one on that side and show you guys the difference. Okay, yeah, that's low beam. Oh wow, there's a huge difference, eh? There's a pretty big difference. That's a really sad looking. Yeah. And then, I think this has like high beam kind of built into them as well. So if I go, like the LED high beam function as well. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Look at that brightness difference. Cool. That's a pretty big difference. And it's like proper white too. It's not like, yeah. That's really good actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, we'll switch out the other one now. But there you go, comparison of these cheap LED lights. There's only $19 for this kit. It's a bit fiddly to kind of get like the, the H4 little like spring brackets in behind the coolers and stuff, but you can get it after a bit of time. It's just a bit fiddly and you need a fine screwdriver and a lot of light to get in there. Hey, Sam. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Yeah. They're meant to pull apart. And you rotate it to oh you're kidding why did no one tell i should have read the instructions look at this guy show me that again oh man i'm such an idiot you got to put the black thing in first and then the led goes in so then you don't have to fiddle around like i did i'm an idiot does it have the instructions on there showing that uh, yeah it no, does show it oh okay it. does it have any instructions in there no it doesn't all right you know what it didn't come with instructions so i'm okay but you're smarter than me all right, guys, headlight install is done. What are you doing? This is, by the way, the Honda Daddy of Australia. The Honda Daddy. And he's come to talk some uh, wisdom into me about case swapping. I've no idea what he's talking about. He's your windows because he's a mixer. But he's also, I'm yeah. I'm watching the for you, senor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, he actually just wanted to really smell the window cleaner that we have. <laughs> like, actually, that's the reason why he's cleaning my window. <laughs> hey. Look at us all cruising with our hatches. Squad goals happening, y'all. Honda Daddy and his uh, little EG. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love this thing. Check it out. I can see my dash now. How awesome is that? And my headlights are like actually awesome now. You guys gotta love that Honda Daddy's number plate is Kanjo, like Kanjo Zoku, the, the club in Japan with all the Honda stuff. He's got a really nice EG. I kind of wish I was able to get an EG, but the EK was just too much of a good deal. So I really do like the EGs over the EKs, but we can still turn this into a nice monster. Okay, so I've just gotten home, jumped out of the shower, and I'm all relaxed and starting to edit. So let's jump in to our Japanese lesson for today. And today we're gonna learn uh, ko, this one here, this symbol that kind of looks like two ticks facing each other. Now, if we look at the three words that it's giving us here as an example, if any of you guys ever learned about Japanese in school, one of the very first things that I think just globally Japanese teachers like to teach is the koinobori flag. This little uh, thing here, and it looks like, like a koi fish kind of kite thing that they hang up on uh, like flagpoles and stuff like that. It's a thing that they do in Japan. Um, is it to do with celebrating, like, ah, I need to research it, but I think it's to do with, like, boy, like, celebrating a boy or a birth or something like that. I can't remember. If you know, tell us in the comment section. But, um, yeah, it's a celebration thing. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with children. Um, and then the other two words is kome, which is rice, and then the other one is koma, which is top. So, take a quick look at this. That makes sense for you guys. Can read all the kanji and hiragana. Sorry, all the hiragana there, no kanji. Um, and one thing I do want to touch on real quick is rice. Don't get me wrong, rice can also has another different word in Japanese, which is gohan, which kind of just means like the food that you eat for dinner, lunch, or it's it's hard because you can add that to like asa gohan, which is like you know your morning meal. Uh, and then uh, Hirogohan, which is your lunchtime meal, and then Bangohan, which is your dinner meal. So it's kind of like saying meal, but because like 
rice always goes with your meal in Japanese culture, rice just became known as gohan. So the real actual word is kome. So there you go, a little bit of history and uh, culture and um, information there. So things you guys can learn. Cool. So wrapping up for today, today was awesome in all honesty. I know we didn't get the nitrous kit, but what is really awesome is that we did some really cheap and simple mods that make a huge difference to the car. You know, just driving, seeing more things on the road, feeling safer behind the wheel because I now can see things better, um, as well as not only like being able to see outside of the car better, I can see inside the car better too. I can see everything on my dash now. I'm not like having to focus a lot more on my dash to work out, you know, because it's so dark and gross, work out how fast I'm actually going and if I've got fuel and things like that. So all in all, cheap, simple, but really effective and something I think you can all agree with me, especially if you're a car guy. You know, it's the little things that count, right? You know what I'm saying. Alright guys, and with that, thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get the channel to 50k. Do your part. Share your favorite video and the channel with your friends. Let's get some more people involved. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao, matane.